Good morning, guys. Okay, today is already Sunday. Okay, and today I want to uh, I want to show you a video on how to take care of uh, fighting fish. Okay, how to take care of fighting fish. Uh, I told you guys earlier uh, that I was uh, uh, happy that my one of my f good friend uh, shown interest in uh, in uh, taking care in rearing this uh, fighting fish as a hobby. So the other day when I went to see him, he was asking me a lot of questions. So I guess the best is I make a video and explain everything, the whole process of what you are, what you have, what you are supposed to do, what you are not supposed to do, uh, so that uh, your your hobby of rearing uh, fighting fish will turn out well. Okay. So the first step, the first step is the water. Okay, the water preparation is very very crucial okay uh, today is Sunday it so happened that uh, uh, every Sunday I will have to change the, 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 the water okay every Sunday so it's already in my system everything is uh, is system you have to follow your system just like every day uh, I have to make a video before I eat my breakfast okay so I want to make this quick and uh, then I will go for my Nasi lemak. Okay, water preparation. Okay, now uh, there are many many ways. Okay, all the all the, the experienced uh, 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 breeders or what they have their own style. Like I said, I have my own style. So I was telling my friend, uh, you develop your own style. So, but he says that as a beginner, he wants to follow my my style, my way. So I will I, I will have to explain everything here, so that the next time, if I have uh, friends who are interested in fighting fish, beta fish, then I just ask them to watch this video, right? So I don't have to go through the whole process again, right? Okay, first thing. The water. Now, the for betta fish, the fish first of all, it is very easy to take care. Very, very easy. Okay, compared with other fish like goldfish. Oh my goodness! Huh? If the water is dirty a bit, that's it. Finish. Finish. The should die. Okay, but for goldfish, it can still. How do I say? It can still uh, cook. Uh, with the with the uh, hardship, uh, it's hardy. Uh, actually, it uh, originates from the muddy area, uh, the, the 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 rice paddy field in Thailand. Okay, that's where they they thrive, they thrive, and then and then uh, they they were discovered uh, due to their variety of colors. All right. Okay. So the water, first of all, of course. Uh, I mean, sometimes we just use have to use our common sense. All right, we cannot be everything. Oh, why like that? Uh? Why like that? Uh? Sometimes, please lah, uh, please think a bit. Okay, uh, <laughs> I remember my friend say use rain water. Come on, you cannot use rain water. All right, <laughs> cannot use rain water. Rain water is uh, how do I say? Uh, in our country, it's too it's too acidic, lah. Okay. <laughs> don't use rain water so my style is I use the tap water which I will show everything uh, in in the video later on okay because uh, I did I did the whole video this morning so please uh, uh, watch the video until the end and uh, yeah so uh, the water I, I, I show in the video first of all I will have to take from the tap water the tap water okay in your in the normal tap water like in your house okay uh, some people they use uh, filtered water there are many types of uh, uh, water uncle don uh, uses uh, cuckoo water at first i in the video is there okay uh, i thought it's uh, kowe but uh, anyway uh, cuckoo kowe whatever way okay everything is okay okay so you use once you you have to experiment okay first time second time when i first started i tried always or everything i tried seriously huh so uh, now I have uh, developed my own system, okay, and uh, I can see that there's no more uh, casualty in death. 
okay uh, no fish dying anymore so i guess that's the way i will i will stick to it okay once you are you are you find your own style your own way okay then stick with it uh, let it be a system so then the process of uh, you just repeat the whole process again so i take the tap water okay then uh then i will i will i will fill up i'll fill it up uh, in a in a in a tank in a big tank lah, okay so that i don't have to uh, i don't have to keep on getting new water for my fish okay most important thing for the water is that it mustn't contain chlorine chlorine okay no chlorine so some people they will use uh, anti-chlorine which they can purchase from uh, any aquarium shop okay uh some uh like the two 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 co the the what, echo shop okay uh you can get two for two ringgit ten cent okay i i, I have uh, bought it uh some i i understand that uh, there are some anti-chlorine better ones they they claim uh they can they can fetch up to 30 40 ringgit which uh i i don't know i don't know okay uh, i don't know whether it's, it's worth buying so expensive but anyway, first thing, if you are if you are a beginner, okay, my advice is that uh, buy cheap fish, okay. Don't start off with like myself now. I'm buying imported fish, uh, which cost hundred ringgit, two hundred ringgit. This, uh, you know, and if if the fish die, okay, then uh, you will feel very very sad, okay. And I don't want you to feel sad. Okay, my video is to make you happy, okay. So the water must not contain chlorine okay now when, when i started using anti-chlorine okay but then uh anti-chlorine you have to be very careful sometimes you use uh, too much sometimes or too little fish die okay i've tried to 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 to, to try different different ways lah, huh? sometimes I put three drops four drops five drops but then you know me being a uh, not so not so um not so how do i say uh, not so uh, um, meticulous, huh? meticulous. So I, I, I try to find the easy way out. Okay. So now I don't use, I don't use anti chlorine. So what I do is that I will put, I will keep the water for seven days, seven days. Okay. Then it's for sure, huh? The water, uh, uh, doesn't have any more chlorine. Seven days, huh? Okay, just be careful that uh, the water is uh, is 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 close is is close and then uh, little like, everything is in the video. Okay, okay. So the water. Then after that, uh, uh, once the water, as a beginner, maybe you can try to have a chlorine tester and also pH uh, tester as well. Which uh, my 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 new friend, my new uh, I not my new friend, my old friend, but new in in trying this uh, uh, fighting fish. So I I he 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 bought he bought from me and then uh, to test whether your water contains chlorine. Okay, the uh, the chlorine tester is very simple. Okay, you just put a few drop in the in in your in your water and and then you see whether the water changes color. If it turns yellowish, uh, that means got chlorine. Okay, if it doesn't contain uh, chlor chlorine, then it will just be uh, 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 clear, crystal clear, lah, white. Uh, the you don't see any changes in color. So so that means your water is safe. Okay, but uh, having said that, also I have uh, experienced that uh, the fish die. Okay, because if you put uh, it may contain too much too much uh, and the anti chlorine i guess it's all is a chemical right so i prefer uh, not to use that uh, so i use my own stuff okay so then uh, you add uh, salt okay i i i initially tried with the cooking salt it it, it, it can okay but now i, ch I changed to the aquarium salt uh, it's blue in color okay you can purchase and in, in any aquarium shop and then also uh, I showed I have shown uh, there's one called what dequadin or what I, I can't recall okay it's also bluish color it's chemical uh, so you can purchase that okay everything is in the video then you just mix uh, the water stir it up okay uh, one thing you have to be careful is that the water uh, the temperature has to be the same because uh, the fish may get a shock 
if suddenly the the, the water uh, is 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 too cold okay uh, so you have to you have to make sure lah, uh, the water is about the room temperature the same place where you 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 place your fish your fish uh, tank okay so water is very important second is the 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 food of course okay the food okay the food uh if if you are if if you are not uh, into breeding yet okay because if those who are breeders they know okay the the fry the, the baby fish the first four days they don't have to eat uh, after that they have to feed them with uh, very tiny 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 food because they they themselves they are very tiny so they uh, most of the breeders they 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 swear by bbs uh, bbs baby brine shrimp which they have to pump and then uh, uh, it takes a uh, it takes a uh, 24 to 36 hours process okay i tried that twice okay but i failed okay so i'm a failure okay but uh so i have to i have to try other ways so another way anyway i will make another video on that those who are into breeding but let's come back to this uh, uh this taking care of fish okay food so you can uh, purchase any pellet okay uh pellet from aquarium shop uh of course there there are different types uh there's one uh uh you see i, I have been to many many breeders place okay I, I i went there for to to seek uh, advice to learn okay one thing don't be shy to learn okay because you are new okay you are new don't 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 be shy to ask question okay uh uh yeah then learn uh so uh one breeder suggest suggested what the uh, ellison or something uh, is from us very expensive i got a shock of my life when he told me the price but anyway you choose your own pallet okay uh you buy from uh, any uh, aquarium shop so the food now the food don't overfeed uh, maybe five or six pallets will do okay those tiny pallets is sufficient Okay, because you look at the size, uh, the fish is small. Uh, okay, then uh, the third thing is of course the 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 space. Okay, the fish need fish need the uh, 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 space for them to swim freely, and also the space must be clean. Okay, of course uh, every day you will see that the the the, the water become yeah, be, the water becomes dirtier and dirtier. So like me, no, I will change it. Uh, uh, not exactly once a week. Once a week, I will use the water only after storing for for seven days. Okay, but every day I will do a bit here, a bit there. You get what I mean? Uh, I cannot be doing so one time at one shot. Okay, I will end up like my good friend. Uh, his name is Epi, and uh, you know one day he 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 changed the water and then he got a back pain. Okay, he couldn't walk at all. Serious, no joke, guys. Okay, don't try to do everything in one day. Okay, so I think I talk too much. Okay, I think you better watch my video and I will explain along the way. Okay? Alright? See you guys. Jom. Let's go. Okay, first I scoop up all the fish from the tank because the tank is already one week. There's uh, it's already dirty, so I scoop all together. I am now getting quite good at it. Just one scoop, I can get so many fish out. Then I will clean the tank. Okay, as you can see, those uh, fish they are together because all these are female, female fish. Okay, now you look at my the other tank. This is uh, all male. Okay, uh, we have to separate them because then if not they will fight. Uh, so you can see the tank is already dirty. Okay, with the tooth. Okay, so I have to clean. I have to, okay, so I have to go and get the water. Okay, as you can see now already the, 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 the blue tank is already empty. Okay, because I have used them. Okay, just now to clean up the... The, the the water 
So now I have to refill back. Okay, so this is how I do it. I use the pail. Okay, I'm only using one hand because one hand I'm holding my camera just to take this uh, this video. Okay, so I'm using this. You can see, right? So I will fill it up. How I fill it up? I use the tap water. Okay, why? Because I think already, the fish already get used to this uh, this water, the tap water. So I will just continue to use them. Until maybe one day if I see a lot of death, then that means the water is not right. I have to do something else. Okay, but I already tested for a few months. So this is how I do it. Uh, tap water, okay, fill it up. Put, on, put into the pail because the tank is outside. Okay, so I just have to do it. It takes time. Okay, see, now the water is filled up. Okay, so now it's filled up. And then uh, I, will, I will keep this water for 7 days. Okay, for 1 week. Then only I can use it next Sunday. Okay, I also have to store water. Okay, in case of emergency. Sometimes I need water. So this is how I do it. Okay, it's all sy arranged systematically so that I know which one I can use. This is the blue salt. This is the... The, 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 the treatment you can get from the aquarium shop, I think it's aquadine or something, okay, but it's all blue color, okay, so you just take a one spoonful of the salt, and then you put into the water, you see how nice it is now, all blue, the water turn, uh, bluish, okay, so that's why my friend asked me why the water is bluish, okay, you can see one tank there that is not so, not, not so bluish, that means now the water is needs to, to change, okay, so amazingly, that's an indication. The bluish will turn into like pale color, okay, or a bit yellowish. That's where you will have to say, okay, for don't forget to to close, okay, close, so that the mosquito won't go in.